one of the greatest blessings in your line of work, whatever that is, is people. And also one of your greatest challenges is people. Do the people that you interact with, do they see, feel, and know that you care? Do they know that you care? Are you taking that little extra effort to get to know them personally as individuals? Do they, do they not only hear it, but do they see it and do they feel it? And many of you know that tension. Like, how do I live out? How do I represent Jesus well within a society that says, uh, keep that to yourself. It's fine that you believe that, just keep it to yourself. Don't talk about it openly. And what I wanna encourage you with is that when you can't speak up, stand out. Christian business owners and employees should be the absolute best at what they do. We should be the, the hardest working, the most innovative, the, the kindest, the most filled with joy than anybody else because not only are we trying to lead healthy businesses and organizations, but we're trying to push forward the cause of Christ. And I want you to know that you will have an influence and a voice uh, far greater than, than anything I or some of these other pastors that are speaking to you this afternoon will ever have because of where God has placed you. And so God wants you to continue to be faithful at loving people one at a time. And it is amazing to me how you most likely have an influence that you're not even aware of in the lives of others. See, see the issue here is not to try to figure out how we can cram God into our vocation. The issue here is how we can invite God to work in and through our vocation to influence as many people as possible.